All right, hi, Gemini. This is going to be a love message. This is for anybody that has Gemini as their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Anybody that has Gemini as a as their sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. Uh, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And be sure to pick what side of the story you're on, okay? Um, just flip the script, okay? Um, what else was I going to say? Um, my voice is coming back. I'm feeling a little bit better. So, um, I, you know, I do sound congested, I'm sure, or my voice is a little hoarse, but I'm here. <laughs> so let's see, what do Gemini placements need to know in love right now at this current moment? So we have attraction. You attract you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So some of you guys could be attracting a lot of people. I know I am, <laughs> and I'm a Gemini. It's like coming out of nowhere. It's fucking crazy. I'm like, what the fuck? It's insane. Like, literally, I feel like I'm being bombarded. Like, literally. And it's so crazy because the other day, I was just telling myself, I'm going to sit my ass down. It's going to be a chill summer. Uh, 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 uh. And I feel like, no. So, Geminis, you guys, for those of you who are single, you guys could be attracting a lot of attention, a lot of suitors, past people, new people. I'm... We'll see. Uh, what else for Gemini? And for those of you who are already like paired up, committed, or you're connected to someone, I feel like um, the more you enjoy the moment, the more the attraction and everything starts to build, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we got flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, Gemini. So a lot of you guys are like in this very playful, fun energy. Um, I feel like, lot, yeah, well, you're attracting people that are in this energy. So be careful if you're um, if you're someone that's looking for something more serious, more committed. You may be attracting people that just want to flirt, have fun. They don't want anything too serious. Um, so you're attracting a lot of people, a lot of different kind of people too. Oh, unrequited love wanted to fall out. There's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. So that could be for some of you. What's going on for some of you? Placements. And we got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So some of you guys could be wanting to focus on your finances. I know I too. Um, I know that's like my main focus right now. Um is finances. I'm open to love, but I just don't want to be distracted. <coughs> so it would have to be like the you know somebody that's not gonna take up too much space. Cause I just got out of something where I felt like a lot of my time and energy was being siphoned and taken up. That I didn't really. I, I it was a distraction. So and you know, as Gemini's, when we get <coughs> when we commit to someone, when we're all in. We give a lot of our energy, our time. We give a lot of ourselves. So, you know, it's very imperative that we are with someone that can give the same back. Or we just kind of stay to ourselves and just focus on what we need to focus on until we find someone that can match that. Okay, so we're not in these unrequited situations with people that can't give us what we need to where it becomes one-sided. You get what I'm saying? So they may love us, they may like us and want us, but they may not be able to reciprocate what we give. And that's unrequited. Or that leads to something becoming unrequited. <clears throat> Some of you guys, you could be dealing with someone that's really focused on their finances and their career. So if you're dealing with someone and they're pulling away or they're distant or whatever, it could be financial issues or this is you. Okay, you could be dealing with a Sag, a Scorpio or another Gemini for some of you guys. Um, Virgo, I heard, and Taurus, Capricorn, too. We got to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So some of you guys uh, could be freeing yourself from, like, a marriage, a relationship, a past situation. You could just be clearing out old energy or that you're dealing with somebody that is doing this or needs to do this. Okay? But um, let's see here. What's the attraction for Gemini placements in love? I feel like you guys are getting over something in your past. Yeah, Knight of Swords here. Gemini Taurus cusp energy. <clears throat> yeah, I, I do. The Knight of Swords talks about, like, the Knights are all about messengers. 
the nice take action. So I feel like somebody here could be wanting to come in. This person could be like really witty. Okay, you may have good conversation with this person. Um, some of you guys could be on the Gemini Taurus cusp or Gemini Cancer cusp, I just heard. But you're dealing with someone here that's very, they're very action oriented. Somebody here could be wanting to come in with some type of communication. Okay, um, they could be doing, there's a lot of watching, stalking maybe, what's the attraction? Yeah, three of cups, Mercury and Cancer. Some of you guys are reconciling with someone. This could be your friend. Something could be moving pretty fast too. But Geminis, I want to point out something with this Empress in reverse and this Nine of Cups in reverse. You know, the Empress in reverse, this could be a lack of self-worth and security. A distorted feminine energy. So a lot of you guys could be attracting people. Make sure, just be mindful of the energy that you're in. It's quality over quantity. So it doesn't matter if you're attracting a surplus amount of people. Be mindful of what type, be mindful of your confidence and your self-concept because you're going to be attracting a boatload of people that are going to reflect how you think about yourself and how you think about love and what you deserve. So be mindful of that. Be mindful that you're not attracting people who just want, who don't know your worth, but they want to come in, have sex. They have all these hidden agendas. They just want to be casual. If that's, if that's what you want, that's fine. But if you want more, then, you know, be real with yourself, okay? What's attraction? <clears throat> Page of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with somebody younger than you or maybe you're younger, you're younger than this person. This could be someone that's a bit shy. They could be a bit reserved. They may hold back. They may not be really honest and open about their feelings. This could be a friend of yours who may have a, somebody has a crush on you. And they could be coming in to tell you this or say this to you, or maybe not. They could be holding back. <clears throat> Some of you guys could be meeting somebody when you're out with your friends. Okay, what's the nine of swords here? Or if you're already connected with somebody, you guys are going to be going out more, having more fun. There's going to be more heart-to-heart -heart conversations, more affection, little, little things, holding hands. You know, sharing food together, drinking off each other's cups. Little cute stuff, little intimate stuff like that. Not of swords. Yeah, ooh, look how that Wheel of Fortune flew out like, boop. Sagittarius energy. So something is changing fast. I'm telling you, it's like once you shift your self-concept and once you just make an internal shift, it's like your love life just picks up, Gemini. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Mercury, and Taurus, the lovers, Gemini. You guys are going to have a choice to make. You're going to have to leave somebody out in the cold for somebody else. That's how it's going to get serious, Gemini. Because I feel like I'm in, yeah, it's going to get serious. But anyways, Wheel of Fortune talks about change. The Knight of Swords is about change, opportunity. Your love life is going to be changing fast. Wheel of Fortune. You guys may have so many options. You could be overwhelmed. Wheel of I'm telling you, Geminis, the lovers, you could be dealing with another Gemini, a Sagittarius, Taurus here, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo. Yeah, heavy Sagittarius with the temperance. Somebody, this could be someone that you met online. Okay, social media. But you guys have a choice to make here. You're attracting a lot of people. A lot. Your sexual energy is potent. And, and I don't know what it is that you've done differently. I don't know what you're affirming, Gemini. Maybe some of you guys, the fact that you're detaching, it's what's drawing these people in. I don't know. There's a shift that's happened. And it happened like overnight. It happened like instantly. So you guys, this could also be a twin flame connection between some of you. Some of you guys, something in regards to sex changes things between you and someone. Maybe the next time you and this person have sex, something is going to change. I don't know. What's the Three of Cups? Yeah, okay. Ace of Cups in reverse. So for some of you guys, one of these options, maybe you just see as a friend. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. Or maybe somebody rejected you. The Ace of Cups in reverse is like a breakup. Um, rejection. Un something unrequited. What's this Ace of Cups in reverse? Yeah, three of pentacles. So I don't know if somebody's reconciling with you and they're turning down a third party or they're turning you down for a third party. Take it how it resonates. You could have met this person at work. 
Okay, for some of you guys that are already committed, married or whatever, some of you guys could be going to like counseling or you could be seeking some type of help, assistance. There could be a third, the three of pentacles is Mars and Capricorn. There could be like a third part. There's some type of external factor here that could be interfering. It could be friends. It could be work. Um, something, you guys could have kids with this person or what's this three of pentacles here? Gemini in love. Three of pentacles. Yeah, seven of pen okay, three plus seven is ten. Seven of pentacles, you could, seven of pentacles here. Saturn and uh, Taurus. So I'm seeing somebody wanting to invest. Some of you guys could be needing to just pour into yourself, have fun. The three of pentacles could be you learning something. About some of you guys are learning about patience, whether it's being patient with a particular person or patient with people in love in general. This Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and then this Two of Cups here in reverse. There could have been a breakup for some of you guys. Maybe somebody wasn't investing in you the way they 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 were supposed to, or they could have had you waiting. I don't know. If somebody wants to. I don't know. What's the Seven of Pentacles? <clears throat> Somebody could be returning or the seven of pentacles for Gemini love. Yeah, four of pentacles, yeah. Seven minus three is four. Capricorn energy. Yeah, some of you guys could be learning to kind of hold back. I don't want to say don't be too easy, I guess. Don't be too easy. Gemini, you know how we could be, you know, we could be really if something feels good, looks good. We, you know, we out, you know, but, but, you know, make, make sure people, you know, Gemini's, you're learning to, you're more attractive when you make people work for it, make people invest in you, hold back, don't be so open, don't be so willing to just give it all out just because it feels good. Make sure something is rock solid, whether it's with a person, these options, make sure something is rock solid. Okay. This four of pentacles could be holding back. Yeah, and don't over invest. Don't over give out of fear of rejection. Don't be afraid to hold back. If you if somebody rejects you or curves you because you're holding back or you set a boundary, oh well. Because you're going to have somebody or people that are coming in that may not respect your boundaries. <clears throat> And you can't, like, surrender and fall into that at the expense of your self-esteem and your self-worth. So hold back. The Four of Pentacles is about holding back. The, some of you guys could be um, celibate. You could be saving yourself. Or somebody could be saving themselves for you. The Four of Pentacles doesn't open up easily. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys could be a bit guarded. You're waiting to see if somebody or you're waiting to see who may the best man or may the best woman win. Who's going to be investing the most? Time, energy, money, effort. That's what you need to be waiting on, watching. Period. Okay. What's the page of cups? Here, yeah, Queen of Swords. Some of you guys are in this Queen of Swords energy. You're following your inner voice. You're listening to your intuition. Libra, Virgo energy. Somebody could be a September Libra or Virgo. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, some of you guys could be public speakers. You guys may have nice voices. You could be music artists or writers, singers. You may do something, and you may use your voice for something, but a lot of y'all are in this Queen of Swords energy. You're examining things, you're looking at stuff. <clears throat> Queen of Swords for Gemini in love. Happy, and yeah, this could be you, Gemini, too. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Yeah, Six of Wands here in reverse. Jupiter and Leo. <clears throat> I don't know if this is a friend of yours. or I, There's somebody here that could be jealous, envious, that you're getting all this attention. This could be, and this could be a man that's in this Queen of Swords energy. Because the Six of Wands is like about failure. Maybe some of you guys failed in love before and you don't want to do that again. So, like, you're taking your time. You're going slow. 
you know. This can also be like, um, I don't know, somebody's trying to slander your reputation. This could be someone's ex. Okay, what's this? I don't know, what's this? Six of wands in reverse. Somebody here could be jealous of you. This could be a friend or a mother figure or I don't know, somebody's ex. Six of wands in reverse. Six of wands. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Virgo, Leo energy. Heavy Virgo here. <clears throat> yeah five of swords is pettiness it's somebody like being petty like i don't know mind games miscommunication somebody could be saying and doing things that are hurtful on purpose again make sure you're not dealing with people that just want to come in score and just they're not coming in for their ego they're not they're not in their ego make sure people again knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles they mean what they say. They say what they mean. And they're the slowest moving night. But when they get to their destination, they stay. So make sure you're dealing with people or someone that's fully committed and devoted and loyal. That's the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody could be going against what other people are saying, the naysayers. And they could, maybe something is taking this time to come in because there were other people in your ear or in your person's ear. And these people could be jealous, envious, or just being petty. They could have been trying to say something about your reputation or about you. Knight of Pentacles. But you're still getting this offer. Knight of Pentacles. Whether it's from somebody you know or a new, you're still getting love. Regardless, you're still getting whatever you want. Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Nobody's keeping nothing from you. Yeah, Six of Cups. This could be someone that you have a child with. Or someone from your past. You may have history with this person. You could have been, you could, this could be a past life soulmate or a connection, Scorpio energy. Somebody is slowly coming to reconcile with you, Gemini. Uh, you, have, you have a lot of people that want to reconcile with you. A lot of people. You're not even really, and you're not, and the thing is, you're not letting all of this attention get to your head. You're not. Somebody wants to make a kind gesture. They could be taking their time. Four of wands in reverse. Somebody could be Venus and Aries. Somebody could be moving out. There could be um, a divorce, a separation, an unhappy home. <clears throat> this could be somebody that lives in your neighborhood. Yeah, people, yeah, you have somebody that wants to reconcile with you, Gemini. You are, with the lovers here, you are going to have a choice. This could be a twin flame for some of you. Somebody wants to do something kind to you. This person is going to be devoted here. But they're going to have to, like, not care what people think. What's flirt for Gemini in love? Or this is you. There could be a reconcili heavy reconciliation. Flirt here. Yeah, Ten of Cups here in reverse. Mars in... I just heard Mars in Taurus. But this is Mars in Pisces. So... So I don't know if this is you or your person. Somebody here could be the Ten of Cups in reverse can be like, this could be a broken home. All right. Some of you guys may have some, your love life. <clears throat> it could be like a reflection of your childhood. Maybe you had an unhappy childhood where it was a bit dysfunctional or toxic, or you could have grown up with a single parent. That could have shaped you in some kind of way. Or this is your person. There could be something about your childhood here. What's flirt? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Can't um I just heard Cancer, but Capricorn, Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be a December Capricorn or Sag. Yeah, the magician, Virgo, Gemini. Could be a Virgo or um Taurus, but this is Capricorn Sag. You can have that in your chart. Are you dealing with one? Come on, Gemini. <coughs> yeah. You know, hold on. What's this flirt? Some of you guys give, like I said, you may give too much. 
of some of you guys could be single parents okay but some of you guys you could be also for a lot of you guys with this queen of pentacles in reverse this could be you guys um again you give a lot of yourself you may some of you guys may give your body away too soon too easily okay um or this is someone you're doing maybe this was you guys in the past you could be wanting to do things differently queen of pentacles is someone that's disloyal they could be um maybe unstable insecure what's this flirt here yeah, Eight of Swords here. So, Jupiter and Gemini. Some of you guys could feel trapped by someone like this. This could be an ex, someone you have kids with. Or this is what maybe whoever you're dealing with, they feel like they're... Somebody here could be in an unhappy marriage. Some of you guys are married to someone that's disloyal. Or you have kids with someone. If you guys are... I don't know if you guys are together or a co or what. But somebody here could be a bit disloyal. They Somebody here... The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone that marries for money. So, somebody could be stuck with someone like this. If they chose that person over you, if they were holding back and investing in them over you, they're stuck with this person now. They could have kids with them or not. But somebody feels stuck in an unhappy marriage, a home, a family situation with somebody that's a gold digger, a man or a woman. Ten of Cups in reverse. Oh, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, Five of Cups, somebody's in regret. Mars in Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's in regret. Somebody's in regret here. They could have been flirting and all types of other stuff here, but somebody's in regret. Some of you guys, this five of cups could be sadness. This could be like childhood sadness. Again, I don't, this could be some, yeah. What's this five of cups? Yeah, temperance here. Sagittarius. Somebody wants to reconcile, heal, mend things, come together. You can have Sagittarius in your chart or be dealing with one. This is about divine time. Some of you guys need to chill your child, heal your childhood wounds because they're affecting your love life and the picture that you paint for yourself in regards to family and love. Especially if you have like a single mother or um or a man or a father or a mother figure who is in distorted energy of some sort. But this is the temperance. It's about healing, patience, divine timing. Hold on, baby. What's that? Oh no, baby. Take here. You want to here? Here. <laughs> It's the, what's the temperance? Some of you guys need to, yeah, I'm, I'm getting like some of you guys may need to heal some pain and sadness from either someone you have kids with, your childhood, or something. Temperance. <laughs> yeah. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Virgo, Aries, what's the temperance? <clears throat> I'm not going to take this five of swords here, but temperance. Somebody could want to heal something with you. That they could be trying to come in with like lighthearted energy. <clears throat> what's temperance? Okay, five of swords. Venus in Aquarius. Yeah, seven of swords, moon in Aquarius. <clears throat> somebody wants to make amends somebody feels like they lost yeah this could be you guys may having <clears throat> some of you guys have some self-sabotaging ways in regards to love that you need to heal okay what's this queen of pentacles in reverse Yeah, the hero font, Taurus energy. Nova. I 
don't know. Hold on. I don't know what this girl is doing. Oh, okay. You okay? Um. Yeah, some of you guys are married to someone that's entertaining other people, or who you who. Or if this was somebody from your past, you guys were supposed to be. Some of you guys, this could be an interracial relationship for some of you. Somebody here could be, if it's not interracial, they're mixed, whatever, or you are. But um, some of you guys are married to someone or you're in a committed relationship with somebody that's disloyal, man or woman. Or this is in the past. What's this hair font? Yeah, three of wands. Somebody is looking to explore their options. Or this could be an open marriage. I don't know. Long distance. <clears throat> you could be seeing three, three, three. Threes are all about expression. That's the empress. Expression. Receiving. Some of you guys may have a hard time giving and receiving love freely. It may be easy for you to give, but it's hard for you to receive. So you end up in these one-sided connections with people that take advantage of you. Because that's the self-concept you have about yourself. That you're unworthy on some level. So you're going to attract that. It's like some of you guys invest and give too much to people before they even invest and give to you. Meet people where they are. It's not tit for tat. It sounds like it. But if you don't, it becomes one-sided. Then you know you start overcompensating. So meet people where they are. And if, that's, and if that doesn't work, then go your separate ways. Some of you guys... Um, you have a commitment coming in. Somebody here could be at a distance. They could be foreign. I don't know. Somebody's have. Uh, what's somebody? What's this three of wands? <clears throat> yeah, ten of swords, Gemini energy. Yeah, for those of you who were married or in a commitment, you're, yeah, somebody's disloyal. They they betrayed you. Like maybe this is over and over again. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that is going through this they may live with this person be married to them have kids with them i don't know but somebody here has been backstabbed and betrayed over and over some of you guys you you're always assuming and thinking the worst a lesson for you guys you're because your insecurity can really it's like you guys your insecurities manifest situations that you don't want and this is from overthinking like some of you guys always think and assume the worst you don't give chance, you don't give things a chance to develop on their own without the negativity, without the overthinking. And this is coming from, yeah, this is a nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius. This comes from pain, trauma that you need to let go of. Yeah, because the queen of wands in reverse, a lot of insecurities. Some of you guys think it's how you look. It's not about how you look. It's the energy that you're carrying behind yourself. And internally, it doesn't matter, you know, there's women, there's men and women who are beautiful, handsome, rich, successful, good sex, good whatever, and they still get played and cheated on. It's not about looks, it's about the energy, the self-concept you carry about yourself. It's about what and who you choose to invest in. So, you know, detach from that, okay? It's not about your looks or anything like that. Detach from that. Because all you're going to, what? okay, you're going to change up your look, have make more money, have more money, and then what? Get used even more? You know, it's not. A, it's about your. It's about your self concept about yourself. Don't you see people very attractive people? People that are not. You know that you wouldn't be looking at you like. How do they get this person? How do they have this person wrapped around their finger? <clears throat> how they got this person just fully devoted, and all eyes on them? They can have anybody they want, but they so fixed on this person. That person that you don't find, that you don't, that people don't think is super attractive, or they don't think they're all of that. They have a certain self-concept about themselves that they truly believe. And the person that who that they're with, that everybody feels that, they, that that can do that, where they can do better or whatever, is mirroring that. You get what I'm saying? So let's so if Anna is with Bob and everyone thinks Bob can do better because Anna's not that attractive and you know she's a little frumpy and she's not fly she ain't got much money ah, ah, ah her hair is never really done it's messy or you know it was whatever right but Anna feels like she the shit therefore Bob is treating her like she the shit she Anna's like huh, Bob only has eyes for me Bob only wants me and me only so that's what Bob is mirroring to her 
You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So, yeah, a lot of you guys, it's not about how you look. For some of you guys, maybe it is, right? Maybe you do kind of need to get back, get back into taking care of yourself, and maybe you lost yourself for a bit, right? But looks can always change. It can always fade. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's your confidence or lack thereof. Okay? Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Eight of Swords for Gemini and Love. Um, yeah, somebody could be... Um, what's this Eight of Swords? <coughs> so both of these... Both of these cards, they're blindfolded here. There's Eight of Swords and there's Two of Swords here. Moon and Libra. So you guys may have a decision to make. You could be in two different minds about something. Somebody here, somebody here. And you know what it is? There's someone that feels trapped. This is you or your person. But really, it's, this person isn't trapped. Somebody needs to open up their heart. So they can tap into their intuition and see what's going on around them and see maybe how they're keeping themselves trapped or this is you. Somebody, yeah, somebody can easily break free, move out of this home, divorce, whatever this is, but somebody's afraid to take that risk. They're not doing it. Two of Swords here. Yeah, the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Somebody, you can definitely break free. You're not bound. Whatever somebody thinks they're bound to or whoever they think they're bound to, it's an illusion. Somebody's in this woe, this woe is me, this victim mentality. <clears throat> oh, this is you. Oh, this person keeps using me. Oh, they keep taking me for granted. Okay, then stop and set a boundary. If this is your person, oh, this person keeps doing this, then oh, this person's abusive, then get the authorities involved. Get help. So, you know, <clears throat> easier said than done, I know, especially if there's kids involved. If you're married to this person, you don't want to lose your money, but or your stability, but you have to think about what's important to you. Yes, you could have invested a lot of time, money, energy, but what's important? Your sanity, your happiness, or your st or your stability. You can always you can always get more money. But your sanity, your peace of mind, your health, you know, come on. Somebody's not as trapped as they think they are. This is a big this is a, a mindset that somebody's in. Devil in reverse. <laughs> Yeah, somebody needs to take action. Somebody's not, they're, they're keeping themselves stuck. Devil in reverse. Yeah, and it's delaying this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning. It could even be delaying their finances or yours. Something about your love life or this person's love life could be connected to your finances. And you know, that is Venus. Venus is, connect, is the uh, connection to love and money. So if your self-worth and your self if your self worth and your self if your self worth and your self concept is shit so is your money and your and your love life in some capacity you're going to be overworking working multiple jobs or just overdoing it you know overgiving it's going to you know this ace of pentacles in reverse and, you know, the devil talks about codependencies, addictions. This could be addict addictions to negative thinking, a compulsion to negative thinking, fears, control. Okay, some of you guys need to also learn how to release control, open up more, um, let things unfold naturally. <clears throat> a lot of you guys need to free yourself out of a certain mindset or self-concept. What's this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Why is this, there could be an offer that's delayed. Why is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could fear starting over. Don't be afraid to start as friends first. Don't, wanna, don't jump from zero to 100 or A to Z. You guys also need to realize what's sent from the devil and what's sent from God, you know, like, because you page of pentacles or again, learning your worth. Because you can't want this big ace to come in until you learn your worth, Gemini, or this is your person until something. Yeah, there's good news coming in, maybe about finances or from someone. Somebody may now somebody needs to see their worth. 
There could definitely be kids in Marvel. This is your inner child stuff here. Page of Pentacles is learning something new, stumbling across something. Somebody may want to gift you something. Now that you're detached or you're moved on. So let's move on to finances and career because that's where the reading is taking us. Finances and career for Gemini and love. Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, Mars and Leo. So I do see there could be some blockages in regards to your money that's being removed here. Some of you guys may have to, what's this? Some of you guys may have to defend your money, especially if you're going through a divorce or if you marry somebody for money or this is your person, finances and career. Or somebody, what's this? Somebody could be really defensive because of their money. You have the food card, Aquarius. Yeah, but I feel like somebody's going to get out their way and take a risk regardless. What's this finances and career? This is like taking a leap of faith. Yeah, the tower. Aries, Scorpio energy. Somebody could have been trying to avoid a disaster or something that's going to happen anyway. The Emperor Aries here. What's this seven of wands here in reverse? Yeah, two of cups. What's this seven of wands in reverse? Some of you guys need to stand your ground. Don't let people push. Don't let people... Yeah, two of cups. So you guys could be... Um, there could be a breakup, a separation. It could be due to finances. On both of you guys' ends. You guys could be mirroring each other. <laughs> What's this two of cups in reverse? Yeah, Charity. Don't let nobody push you. <clears throat> yeah, nine of pentacles. Somebody's a somebody's a user. Somebody's using someone for money. That's they're only trying to hold on to this person or to you for money. The chariot in reverse cancer energy. This is about hate triumphing over love. Somebody could be trying to block your love life, block your finances, or block your person's fight. Because if you ain't got no money, you're not going to want to fucking date nobody. Or if you do date, it's just going to be casual flings because you can't really invest. Something's not, be my, yeah, something may not be going anywhere. What's this not, what's this charity in reverse? Don't let nobody waste your time. Charity in reverse. Yeah, ton of wands. Saturn and Sagittarius. You could be seeing 10, 10, 10. 10 of swords, 10 of wands, 10 of um, cups. 10s are about ending. Something is definitely ending. There's something that's, cause I, and I did see the world card here a few times. There's a chapter that's closing. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, you're not going to be able to move ahead until you drop this old baggage. Until you put down this dead weight. Okay? What's this food card? Yeah, King of Cups. I feel like somebody's falling in love with you or they have Scorpio, um, Scorpio, Libra energy. Somebody could be October Scorpio or Libra. We go from the Page of Cups to the King. I like this because there's growth. Somebody's growing up. There's growth. There's progression. Somebody's feelings could be progressing, but they could be trying to be cool, calm, and collected with this King of Swords here. Aquarius, Capricorn energy, but they're stressed out. Maybe, I don't know. What's, what's this King of Cups? Yeah, Aries energy. This is somebody that could be older than you. This could be your husband, a father figure, someone that you may have kids with. Or your person, I don't know. This could be a woman in masculine energy too. But somebody here, yeah. Somebody here could be married. And with this Ten of Wands, I feel like something is growing out of control. And it's really, somebody's really getting burnt out here. They may not have a lot to give. I don't know if something is delayed or a false start. It could be restarting, maybe just as friends. Take things slow. Take things slow. Maybe you didn't start the right way. Maybe you started off just as sex or the sex happened too fast. Take things slow.
The emperor is all about taking action. This could be like a mentor or a boss, maybe. What's this emperor here? This could be your father figure. Maybe some of you guys have father wounds you need to heal. What's the emperor? Or your person. What's the emperor? Because the emperor and the king of cups could be a married or taken man. And somebody could be standing in something for money or this is you. The emperor. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to lose their money. Yeah, king of, somebody's married. Somebody could be staying in something because of finances. They could have lied to you about this. King of Pentacles. Um, Taurus, Aries energy. It could be a Capricorn or a Virgo, but this is Taurus, Aries here. Somebody may want to marry you. They could be getting their finances in order to marry you or commit to you. What's the Ten of Wands in reverse? Yeah, King of Swords. So somebody could be getting divorced. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, they're the divorcees. Aquarius, Capricorn, it could be a Leo. I mean, could, well, could, you could be dealing with the Leo. It could be a Libra or a Gemini, but the King of Swords is Aquarius, Capricorn energy. Somebody's getting a divorce. Something is too much. It's not going anywhere. They may have to even, have even gotten the authorities involved. They could be getting help with this, legal help. We got three kings here. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. So this could be your emperor. Somebody could be um, balancing out. Somebody could be balancing out their, um, again, their, this could be father wounds here. <clears throat> Yeah, somebody could be cutting something out. Something has gotten out of control. Something's not going anywhere with the chariot. It's stuck. It's in reverse. Somebody could be having to put out a lot of money for a car. A move, maybe. No, baby, don't eat that. What's the tower in reverse? Yeah, four swords in reverse. Somebody could be reckless. I mean, reckless or thank you, baby. Somebody here is anxious. They're they're not getting sleep. What's this for? Swords in reverse. Jupiter and Libra. Four swords in reverse. Yeah, the strength card. I feel like somebody here could be trying to hold on, remain strong. Leo energy. You could have Leo in your chart. Something about Leo season. What's the strength? Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Uh, Venus in Virgo. Yeah, somebody could have codependency issues as well. The nine of pentacles could be someone here that's um, codependent. Um, someone here that's not so sufficient. They marry. I mean, yeah, this is something that some something about money. There's something to do with money here. <coughs> something about finances. Somebody lied and said they were single. They're not. Or what's this nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the hermit in reverse. Somebody is scared. Maybe they don't want to give up their freedom. Somebody could be paralyzed by fear because of finances. They don't want to lose money. Or this is you. The hermit in reverse could be someone that's not taking... Heavy Virgo here. Somebody not taking accountability. Somebody here could be sick. They need to go see someone or... Yeah, a lot of fear here. Somebody could be lacking courage. What's the hermit in reverse? <clears throat> yeah, king and queen of cups. So there's definitely a counterpart here twice. Um, Cancer, Gemini, cusp energy. Could be a Scorpio or Pisces, but this is Cancer, Gemini, cusp energy. <clears throat> Somebody. 
somebody's in there. <clears throat> somebody's in their feelings. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's in their feelings. Somebody seeks too much external validation or too much. Somebody's seeking something outside of themselves where they have to get it within. <clears throat> the strength card here could be about self-control. Somebody could be, somebody may lack <clears throat> self-control. Some of you guys are trying to keep it together. Somebody's trying to keep something from falling apart. This Nine of Pentacles could be like a scam or a con artist. I don't know. Someone very materialistic. Somebody here, they, they, their finances determine their worth. And I don't know. But I feel like all you, all you want or all you want is love and loyalty. The sun here. Yeah, there's some type of injustice here. You could be dealing with the Libra. There's a divorce happening. Somebody is going to lose a lot of money. But there's going to be a transformation and somebody's going to be able to start over again. Okay? And maybe, I don't know. But the sun here, Leo energy, something is going to get better. Something is going to be illuminated. Something could be happening in Leo season. <laughs> Let's get some chakra messages. <clears throat> and we saw the king and queen of pentacles here. So for some of you guys, this is a twin flame, a twin flame connection, a counterparts, or somebody's just married. The King and Queen of Swords, the King and Queen of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Cups. The only thing missing is the King and Queen of Wands. And that Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So disloyalty, somebody's yeah, ungrounded, materialistic. Yeah, codependency. <clears throat> you and your person may have codependency issues in different ways. Yeah. One more. <clears throat> okay, and we have suppressed anger. So somebody could be suppressing a lot of emotions. Um, we got ungrounded, trouble obtaining financial security. So this could be you and your person, lying and deceptive behavior. Somebody could be lying about their finances. <clears throat> um, detachment. Uh, we got resentment. Some somebody here may need to forgive. Being overly critical, fearful of the unknown, codependency, and we got solar plexus chakra, personal power, self-esteem, confidence, and that's why the queen, the king and queen of wands didn't come out. You and your person could be mirroring each other. The king and queen of wands are both very confident, self-assured, they're healthy, they're vibrant, they're go-getters, they're confident as fuck, and you and your person could both be lacking that. <clears throat> somebody's having a hard time attracting. This is about you and your person both lack self-worth or this is you and your attracting partners that reflect that. Solar plexus, confidence, self-esteem, personal power. The crystals are citrine, tiger's eye, yellow calcite. The element is fire. Archangel Uriel, I am strong and confident and I deserve a wonderful life. Again, I am strong and confident, and I deserve a wonderful life. It doesn't matter what your childhood looked like, Gemini, or your person, cross watcher, whoever. You are strong, you are confident, and you deserve a wonderful life. Some of you guys may need to get some things off your chest to a person so you can move forward. Whether they respond, whether they, <laughs> whether they respond to you the way you want, or whether they respond, period, you may need to get something off your chest. So you can, you know, some of you guys, yeah, you got to get something off your chest. Okay, so this was your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.